<sighs> Have a welcome to Half Dead. Uh, demo 1.0, apparently. Also, I'm gonna have one eye closed because I'm tired as hell and there's a hair in my eye. Yeah. So, just just one eye. <laughs> as weird as that's gonna fucking look. But I, this, I like I like the music to this. Just thought I'd throw it out there. I like the intro music to this. It's very calming. I really want to actually listen to more of this, honestly. I'm not sure if the creator made it themselves or it's royalty free, but I want to listen to more of it. Anyways, let's get into it. It looks like an interesting game. I haven't seen anyone else play it. It's been out for like eight days. So let's get into it. One morning, a young boy wakes inside a vaguely familiar hospital. Not sure why he is here, he decides he must find a way out. Hmm. What's going on? Where am I? So it's an RPG maker. I do believe indie horror. A painting of a scarecrow. Yeah, this is, this is normal for hospital rooms, of course. Of course, of course. Now bed. Let's just leave, I guess. Turn up the volume. What to expect? Ugh, except crap getting in my other eye. I'm, I'm sort of limited with one eye. If something gets in my other eye, I'm just going to have to be playing the game with both eyes closed. But, strange paintings. Dream World. Whoosh. What? Wait, what? What? Shift equals inventory? And X is a menu. That's weird. Alright, no hitting shift. There's no shift to run. It's locked. Room 237 vacant. A note is taped below. Press shift to use items. Oh. Alright, then what does this say? Nothing. I don't have an item to unlock that door, so... A light switch doesn't seem to be working. I'm not even sure if my mic... Is my microphone even in the right place? Like, sorry, sorry. Alright. Red and green note. Unkempt pile of folders. Four digit code is written on the back. Okay. Go go on. I unlocked the cabinet, a small key was found inside. What the fuck is the four digit fucking code? It's like there's a four digit code behind the back. And it doesn't fucking tell me what the four digit code is. Empty paper stand. And the clock hands are frozen. Oh, okay. Well, we got the key. Uh, we have to use the inventory. Let's see what happens. Use the key and unlock the door. Okay. Something about this room makes you feel dizzy. Thud. It's going to be alright. Jewel? It's going to be okay. It's not your fault. What? You're a great brother, Thomas. She loved you. We'll get through this. Are you okay, Thomas? Thomas? No. Oh. Thomas? Thomas? What? Something about... people being in a vegetable state? Or comatose? Was that a memory? What's wrong with it? I'm going to presume it's like the amount of people that sort of like... For those that maybe are comatose, but they say that they remember and they can hear you, but they just can't respond back sort of thing. I'm presuming is maybe something around those lines. So I know a bunch of stories of people who are comatose like for years and years, and they tell you after they wake up that they remember like every conversation, and they wanted to say, hey, I'm here, I'm here, but they don't hear it. So that could be like a, maybe a relapse of every person that walked in the room to talk to him, but sort of sped up because of how long he's been comatose. But being that we're in this weird dream world, we're clearly still comatose. Maybe he's dreaming in his coma that he's dreaming that he woke up when he's still obviously in bed. It's a small rock. Oh, okay. Sanity is a measure of your health. Without sanity, your mind will be lost in eternal darkness. 
Oh, okay, so we got sanity now. It's a sickly colored mass. It looks like a brain. What do you want to do? Talk to it. Beware the dangers of this world. They lower your sanity. The more the world is distorted. Thank you, brain. Do you mind if I poke you? Talk to it. Thank you, brain. You... I mean, I needed to poke you and lose some sanity, but it gave me a bridge. It's a picture of a smiling family. You feel a little happier. Ah, but memories make every everything feel better. Did a doll just commit suicide? Hmm. Hey, what is this gangly mess? It looks like mold. Okay. Oh, save. Saves in demo. Pristine dollhouse. Group of dolls lay together with their eyes closed. Okay. What does this say, then? No matter how much you may be tempted, do not kill any creature. This may alter a dream world significantly. I actually agree with that. I have a lucid dreaming, and usually... I'm like, I'm, I'm a person who loves to experiment, whether it's real world or dream world or anything. The one thing I can tell you is usually doing things that are morally gray or morally questionable in your own mind, like say, you murder someone in your mind, there's a general thing that either you can make light of it in your dreams, or in other situations, doing bad things your mind will know are bad will change the tone and mood of your dream. So you usually gotta be careful and keep things happy positive, and if you do anything bad, you have to sort of, at least in my own words, if you're in a lucid dream, and you're quite aware of what you're doing, and you're like, this is bad, but you focus like, smiling babies, smiling babies, smiling babies, and keep things like really happy and mood so your dream does not distort to be some kind of like, evil mess because you did something very bad that you know is bad. It's kind of like that with lucid dreaming. It's a list of different substances and their uses. Because I, I love experimenting when I have a lucid dream that I know I'm dreaming, I'm just like, ah! I can feel the grass, I can feel the dirt, or I can rub my hand against like rusted metal and be like, yes, that feels familiar, and it's, it's just an amazing feeling to me. Putrid smelling liquid fertilizer. How's fertilizer putrid smelling? Drink some. Take some. How do you drink fertilizer? Fertilizers shouldn't be a liquid. I don't know, a bowl of putrid smelling liquid pesticide. Don't even know. No, none of that shit. Water antifreeze. How can I take fertilizer? I mean, would it be for the mold then? Pesticide? Pesticides for insects. Antifreeze. Whatever, let's just use. I don't want to put my hands in antifreeze. And. Definitely not in pesticide. A concentrated pesticide? Um, poor. There we go. Who the fuck would want to put their hand in a bowl of fucking pesticides or goddamn antifreeze? Like, seriously. Whoever does, I, 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 just, I just don't know if I'm sorry. I don't know how corrosive they are in, you know, at a personal level. Like, I don't, I don't know, but... Oh. Uh, I just got my sanity back. Oh, uh-oh. Keep moving. Scrolling a little bit too much. Something is dragging a doll? Okay. Wait, what? Oh, uh, the doll fell. Strange painting. Sick. Oh, sick mess. Did that mean this is blocking my... Yep, it is. Alright. Sickness. The painting is negative and it made me feel negative. Sort of comparable to my lucid dreaming explanation. It's a doll. You feel like you know it from somewhere. And there goes my sanity some more. Where's a happy paint? I need a happy painting. This looks a little like a happy room. A sunshine room. Okay, let's get some... Oh, never mind. I need to get our... What the fuck is that thing? It's a bunny. I don't trust it. When you aren't in the best state of mind, inanimate objects may seem to follow you. Hmm. Yeah. So if my... That's actually interesting. It sort of goes with what I was saying. Things get worse the more you just... Like, the dream is distorted by either negative thoughts. It's sort of just like how I explain lucid dreaming. That's kind of interesting how it's sort of... A glass key sits high on the wall. This bunny is, uh... 
Get away from me, bunny. Something in his hand? Like a hammer or something? Ah! A save point, but... I need keys. I need a ladder or something. Is this a maze? Every action has consequence. No. Ah. It's just like, um... What am I thinking of? Uh... Crap. I'm trying to remember the game. Um... Spooky's House of Jump Scares. Those, uh, brightly lit rooms. Blue paint drips from the ceiling, where you had to do the whole pattern four times correctly. So let's see, it's left, up, nope, left and down. Left, down. I have to keep being right. Actually, wait. The numbers change position. I wonder if these change to until the end. Weird. I might have missed something. Alright, left. Let's see what it says in number two. Whenever you make a choice, you will never know what could have been. No. Uh, up? I can't remember what the first choice was. Let me just get through this and skip ahead. Damn, wasn't right. I'm going to presume it may be down again. Down or left? There we go. Ah, happy family. And the bunny's just sitting there. Oh. Gonna presume that's a key. Is the bunny evil now? It stares back at you. Wait. Did I pick... Did I... Glass rabbit doll. But I couldn't go along with what I was talking about in Lucid Dream. Maybe the developer knows exactly what I'm talking about, and they also understand Lucid Dreaming. That'd be interesting. Shards of glass, shards of glass. Um, I'm gonna presume I can use the rabbit to maybe grab the key for me. No. That's the curious thing: is there's blue paint there. In the second room, blue paint drips from the ceiling. I was... Actually, you know what? I want to... Hmm. I want to know what the other option was. I'm going to presume that it was leave the rabbit alone. But it's just like with lucid dreaming, when things are negative, things sort of turn against you. But since our sanity is high, we could pick up the rabbit, and the rabbit isn't evil. It's not inherently evil. It's only because your mind makes it evil. So... Hmm. Let's just go ahead, I guess, back up here and go to the blue paint. I'm going to presume they're related. Alright. The blue paint drips for the ceiling. No? Hmm. Down. Confusing. Why? Hmm. Oh well, whatever. Down and down. I'd find another place for the rabbit to go. Wait, did the door vanish on the left? Crap. Oh, wait, this door is openable. And there's a spooky, spooky black skeleton dude over here. Uh, the wall is scratched here. Sup, Mr. Skeleton, how you doing? A thin, off-putting skeleton leans against the wall. Place a friend on my pedestal. I promise I won't break it. You're gonna, you're gonna break it. And you're gonna ruin my sanity. Sorry, rabbit. I'm gonna have to put you there. Better not be like a cat, Mr. Skeleton. I know you're gonna do it. And then you're gonna play the piano. His head moves. Thanks. Whenever I need your help, uh, I'll be sure to grab you. What? That doesn't sound like I'm giving you consent for that, no. You mean when you need me? Isn't it the other way around? When I need you? No, hey, 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 I saw that! Motherfucker! Mm, is there a key in there? The skeleton could be anywhere. The rabbit lies broken on the floor. Fucking skeleton. I don't like the fact that there's a skeleton somewhere and he says he's gonna grab me without my consent. 
All right, I'm gonna end it abru abruptly here. The game is super long. I started recording and stopped at like 32 minutes, so it's still going on, basically. So we're gonna have like this as a three or four part series. Thus, I'm gonna split the episode here and just make it two parts for now as I save it and then go to bed. So I hope you enjoyed this video of part one of Half Dead. If you enjoyed, then please look forward to the next one and please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit that notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time.